Hey everybody, hope you guys are out there safe. So this is DJI's newest three-axis gimbal. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 5. But I believe the official name now is just DJI OM5. They've shortened the Osmo Mobile part. So smartphone gimbals nowadays are like a dime a dozen. So what makes this one special? Other than the fact that it is quite a bit smaller than the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, which has been one of my favorite smartphone gimbals for the past few years. I mean, it's not just smaller, it's also lighter. This is 100 grams lighter than this. This is 199 grams, this is 299 grams. So, you know, smartphone gimbal, nothing special, right? Except this is a three axis smartphone gimbal with an extendable arm. And once, you know, even if it's extended, it's not just like a dumb selfie stick. The gimbal part still work. The stabilization is still active. This reach allows you to get unusual shots. Like for example, a shot that's higher up than usual. You know, with a DJI Osmo Mobile 3, you wouldn't be able to get that unless you put a selfie stick below and then hold the selfie stick. And then it would be really clunky because it would be too heavy on top of the stick. But perhaps the more important usage is you can tilt this part towards your face and then you can film yourself with a gimbal that's further away from your face. This gives you a wider framing. This is big for me because if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I usually like to film my videos outside when I'm walking around. I know it's ironic because this video, I'm actually just seated still here, but usually I am out and about walking and filming myself and I, you know, spent the last couple of years trying to find a solution to be able to film myself and not have the video come out too jerky, but also have the footage be um, like at least like above average quality. And over the past couple of years, I've tried several different methods. I've tried shooting with like my main camera, like the one I'm filming right now, on top of one of these like selfie handle sticks and just walk around like that. But when you do that, stabilization is not good because a digital camera stabilization actually cannot compare to a phone. So footage is a little bit jerky. On top of that, you get tired pretty fast when you're holding a relatively heavy camera on a selfie stick and you have to extend your arm to get that extra reach. Sometimes when I'm lazy, I would just shoot with an iPhone and a DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So I would put the iPhone, like flip it backwards so I can shoot with the main camera system. But because there's just not enough reach, you know, because this doesn't extend, I have to shoot with the ultra wide angle camera. And if there's good lighting, then it's fine. But as soon as it gets dark, the ultra wide angle camera suffers a lot because the ultra wide angle camera quality is always inferior to the main camera. I've also tried shooting with a small action camera like an Insta360 GO. While that will give me really good stabilization and good framing, the image quality is just below par. So finally, this should be a pretty good solution because I can shoot with an iPhone but I don't have to use the ultra wide angle camera anymore because I can pull the selfie stick. So that means I can shoot with just the main camera of the iPhone and still get proper framing. So DJI OM5 comes with this magnetic phone clamp. So I'm gonna, you know, usually you're supposed to clamp it onto the phone like this on the back, but because I'm gonna shoot myself with the main camera system, so I'm gonna have to put it backwards. It's a little bit clunky, but you know, it's fine. So I just have to put it on the phone backwards like this and now I'm gonna clamp the handle to the gimbal, power it on, and now I'm gonna extend, pull, and that is it. Now I'm filming myself with the iPhone 12 mini's main camera system. So it's gonna be higher quality than the ultra wide angle camera, but yet I'm getting proper framing. Like it's not just my face up close like this. You know? Let me go for a little run. So I'm running right now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. You can also get really low angles, unusually low angles. So stabilization, as you can see from these footage, look pretty good with the OM5. I would say they're not quite as good as the OM3, but that's to be expected because the OM3 is a little bit bigger, so it probably has a larger motor. And on top of that, the arm, you know, which is holding up the phone and stabilizing it, it's connected to the gimbal. It's not in a moving part. 
while this you know ultimately when you extend it like this the moving part now you know has to also account for the fact that it's extended from the handle so that just adds a little bit extra weight a little bit extra motion so you know obviously stabilization here is not going to be as smooth as a traditional game mode but it's still good enough definitely more than good enough for my um you know not super professional vlogs okay let's look at the overall hardware of the om5 so right here you have a joystick that will control the arm you know like tilt pan all that and right here are buttons so you have to use dji's own app the dji memo app if you want to use these buttons like you know to begin recording stop recording all that i i did not use the app earlier which was why i had to physically use my hand to press the shutter button on the left side it's a power button right here and this is a zoom dial again to use a zoom dial you have to use the dji memo app on the right side is a usb-c port to charge the gimbal and then behind it is a trigger this trigger if you use a smartphone gimbal you should know what it does so if you hold on to the gimbal it will speed up the motion of the tilting and panning it they call it sports mode if you double tap it will fix um balance like it will basically move whatever position the phone is in back to the neutral position and as you saw earlier the gimbal folds up too like so so it's a pretty easy fold and once you fold that just twist this arm here and it locks into place and then that is it this is really small now even though I find that I don't need to use a DJI Mimo app too often because I'm usually just filming myself or filming like a phone that's stationary on a table for other people who are filming like sports it will come in very handy because DJI Mimo has a really smart and intelligent auto tracking algorithm you just have to run your finger to draw a square around that subject and after that the gimbal will automatically keep track of that subject as it moves around like the gimbal arm will move to follow the movement as much as it can anyway so definitely if you are semi-serious about your gimbal videography you will want to check out the dji memo app it's just i personally don't have much use for it as for the package you also get this little tripod leg too that you can screw down below it's a quarter inch mount of course so that allows you to prop this on a table or any flat surface easily it also adds a little bit more reach if you want even you know if you want the phone to be even further from your face because now you can just hold on to the edge now you have a lot more reach now unfortunately because the om5 is smaller battery life has also taken a hit so on a single charge it will power this thing for about six and a half hours so if you have an active filming um, session all day you'll probably need to bring a portable battery charges via usb-c this is a big drop from the osmo mobile 3 which had like 16 17 hour battery life so dji om5 sells for 159 us dollars in the us and in other regions it will be around that 160 us dollar price range i think if you are a vlogger who shoot with a smartphone this is a no-brainer purchase i mean 160 dollars for something if you are a vlogger who shoot with a smartphone this is in my opinion a no-brainer decision this just basically made all my other smartphone gimbals redundant like the dji om3 and the xian smooth q3 these have all become redundant because this can do everything those gimbals can do plus a lot more so yeah this is a dji om5 and i think in the next few months you'll see me use this a lot in my videos like whenever you see me walk on the street footage looks pretty stable and i'm like hey everybody and then you know it's a wide framing then you know i'm shooting with this with an iphone or xiaomi mi 11 or something so yeah that's it for this video um please stay tuned i have a lot more stuff coming up including on the newest iphones thanks for watching